Hi, this is Adam at Whisper Reviews. Welcome to the video. We'll be talking about a review of the North Face Cat's Meow sleeping bag long-term test. When I say long-term, I mean long-term. I've had this sleeping bag more than 10 years, um, actually, since I started Boy Scouts. This has been my sleeping bag. And it took me on many adventures. The same bag. Check it out. It's made in USA, so you know it was from the late 1980s, back when they were still making North Face products in the USA. And this is um, a blue swimming bag. It, it is a cat's meow. They do make the cat's meow now. It's not made in USA anymore. And this is very rugged. Um, I got a little stuff on it because I slept under a space blanket recently, and the space blanket metal stuff came onto it. So if you um, sleep under other things, like sleep, like space blankets, just know that some of it might come off under the bag. It survived all kinds of hard use. It's got a very strong YKK zipper that it came with. And right here, if you can see this thing, uh, this, this coil zipper is incredibly rugged. And it's got a little zipper here at the bottom where in theory if it's too warm you can unzip the bottom. The, um, in my travels, a little part of it got cut recently. These are all recent damages to it. it never had these in the, in the long term. I think I was more careful with it in days past. I got a rip here. It was in the back of my car. and some, instead, of, instead of in a good sleeping bag carry stuff sack that it should be in. And so then I put this camping repair tape on it. I think it's the Coleman or Culligan repair tape. And it seemed like it's worked out okay. Um, so it is definitely a repairable, sustainable sleeping bag, and that was an easy field repair. You can also get it sewn up at a repair shop, which is the right way to do it. The bottom, the foot, the foot area here has two little loopy deals that you can hang your sleeping bag from, and that's good if you want to air it out. Um, and, and so if you had a clothesline or something like that, you had like little carabiner hooks, these little things are quite handy. That come with another great North Face feature. They have a million good features. There is a draw cord on top, and I think it, the, uh, the insulation is a synthetic, I think it's called Polar Guard, and it's made with layered bats of material. It's not blown in there and, and loose or anything like that. So when I got this tear on the back side, I didn't have a bunch of insulation come pouring out. For the most part, it kind of hung in there and uh, f for the most part in in intact. And then I was able to just tape it over when I got time. A little of it wanted to come out when I kept pawing around in there. Uh, but, but, but for the most part, it was pretty rugged and intact. A uh, feature I use often also is the the draw cord here. When it gets real cold, you can draw this mummy uh, mummy uh, sleeping bag thing close, so you have a small opening over your face. Sometimes just just my mouth is there on uh, the opening. I, I draw it so tight and keeps a lot of heat in. And then there is optionally this little thing here. If you're if you if you want to draw this thing shut, the the draw cord, the zipper then wants to unzip. So what you do here. This is kind of like a pair of pants with the uh, the button top on top of the uh, the fly on your pants to keep your pants from unzipping. Uh, you you button the top on this on this thing. You velcro the top here. There's a little velcro tab. And you can unvelcro this little thing. I, I velcroed it over here so it's on, onto itself. This has got a small velcro, but you can you can velcro it onto this this little patch here. Is the idea, and then it'll stay put. Fairly good. The velcro and all my use has not worn out. Um, in many years, but I will say I, I rarely use this thing, so too. So anyhow, more than 20 years of uh, serious use on this sleeping bag, and I, I use it a couple times a year, and I'll tell you, it's hung in there pretty good. North Face needs to start making their gear back in the USA, like back in the day, but I understand they still make the cat's meow, and if it's anything like the one they made back in the 80s, and again, chime in on the review board, the discussion board tell me if you got a new cat's meow versus the old ones. But this is one of the old ones made back in the late 1980s, and uh, it's served me well. It's not got as quite as much insulation as days past, and that's why I use that um, 
that space blanket, although that was a sub-freezing temperature, and this is a three-season bag. So, not as cushy, and lost a little bit of its um, insulation as, as far as over the years, it, it doesn't have the same insulation power, and, and, and you can tell it's not as cushy a sleeping bag as it, as it was in the days before. It used, to, it used to cush up more. But that's that's it. That's still good. Sometimes I have a small wool blanket that I put on top of it to keep me warm, and that augments it well. But it's it's still a decent three sleeping, three season sleeping bag. Uh, if I am winter camping, I do need the extra blanket or two on top. Um, it, then I'll, sometimes I also have a, a a pillow, and sometimes in the summer I, I roll this up, and it becomes like a pillow, or I use a t-shirt under there for a pillow, or I have a real pillow that I have that helps a lot. Um, so those are good pillow options. Uh, alternatively, you can use a foam pad that you double over, and you get a little extra thickness uh, from it. So if you if you do that, that's another option too. Thanks for watching about Whisper Reviews, about the North Face Cat's Meow. This is a synthetic bag, and it does stay fairly warm when wet, although the best option is to not get it wet in the first place. All right, so stay away from uh, the sidewalls of your tent, touching the sidewalls of your tent that might get it a little wet, and um, <clears throat> keep it in a nice dry bag as far as your compression, compression stuff sack when you go backpacking and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. The North Face Cat's Meow. Pretty highly recommended bag, but not made in USA anymore, I don't think. So my next bag probably going to be a Wiggy or a Marmot. You know, Wiggies is made in USA, so I'm, I'm going to be looking at Wiggies here for my next sleeping bag. Thanks so much.